The podcast you're about to hear was made with Anchor. Make your own podcast for free at anchor.fm. You're listening to the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce and tech news, presented by Sumo Heavy. Here's your host, Bart Moraz. This is the E-Commerce Minute for August 21st, 2017. Amazon adds instant pickup in U.S. brick and mortar push. Amazon announced last Tuesday that it has launched instant pickup points around five college campuses, such as University of California at Berkeley. Instant pickup combines the ease and convenience of shopping at a corner store without all those pesky humans getting in the way. Shoppers on Amazon's mobile app can select from several hundred fast-selling items at each location, from snacks and drinks to phone chargers. Amazon employees hiding in a back room then load the orders into lockers within two minutes. The customers then receive a barcode to access the item. Amazon has come to realize that certain transactions like buying fresh produce are hard to shift online. Its instant pickup program targets another type of transaction, the impulse buy. Amazon's ability to shorten delivery times has been a sore point for brick and mortar retailers who have struggled to grow sales as customers have turned to convenient online options. Until instant pickup, Amazon shoppers could expect their orders within an hour at best via the company's Prime Now program or within 15 minutes for grocery orders via Amazon Fresh Pickup. Instant pickup is just the latest way Amazon has begun to push its online retail business into physical locations. The company began opening physical bookstores earlier this year and, of course, in the process of acquiring Whole Foods. This continues to ask the question, how big is Amazon's ambitions for real-world shopping? Very, very big. I just imagine a guy in the back just handing <laughs> just just through his hand, his hand, hand coming through the <laughs> locker. <laughs> oh, don't touch me. Nothing creepy there. So I think that this is great for, you know, they have a college campus. So, of course, it's great for drunk people and shy people. And the yeah. college campuses, there's a lot of those. Well, it's like a, to me, it looks like a, just a vending machine world. Um, I mean, why why have this if there's vending machines that do the same thing? Uh, yeah, some of the some of the articles I read, it was like, well, you know, it's the, some things the vending you can't put in a vending machine, like maybe something that's a little bit bigger than a, than the set of headphones. I, I agree with you. It's kind of like a, a human powered vending machine. Uh, oh, I mean, they could be using this for just tests, right? Like, let's put in college camp and let these kids beat the hell out of it and see what happens. Right. Right. So, and I'm sure they have different size lockers. So one guy, he orders the, the 60 ounce bag of Cheetos and a, and a quart of soda and a pair of headphones, you know, that all goes in the locker. Um, turn it, turn it on its head. It's like, if you're going to do all this just to get a can of soda, I, you know, it seems like a lot of, no. I mean, there's, there's still soda vending machines everywhere. There's carts everywhere and every single campus. It's just that that's what happens. Um, this is interesting. I mean, obviously they're, they're trying to push into it. I mean, they're trying to take over everything. Um, so are we saying that retail stuff is just dead <laughs> and Amazon is going to be just all Amazon world? Um, you know, that's, that's, that's where they're, they're trying to head. Um, I, I just, you know, I, I, I admire that they do these, these little test programs. Mm -hmm. um, but you're right. It's the one out an analyst, Forrester analyst said two minutes is too long to wait for a can of soda. Right. <laughs> yeah. But on the other hand, it's like, uh, you know, I want a can of soda right now and I, I don't want to wait for someone to drop it off. So, you know, there's that, you just got to come in, you know, find that sweet spot spot in between the two, uh, the convenience, the price, the, you know, everything that, that comes along with it. But yeah, yeah I mean, to load an app and order and barcode and boop, and that, to get a can of soda is kind of silly. <laughs> well, they're just taking, I mean, they're taking Amazon locker that are in stores that you can deliver any way or two and just repurposing them. The, the tech, the tech is there. It's just, does this actually will, you know, does it work? And I just have to imagine, you know, there's a human hiding behind there. So there's gotta be, he's gotta be sitting in a little store himself you know, he's got to have all the product behind him. So why not just add, open a stupid store or do the Amazon go, but a mini version of it. So I think they're just, I think they're mixing their metaphors here and they're testing it. Um, yeah. I yeah. think, and, and the college campus thing really makes sense because people just don't, you know, they don't want to, they actually surveyed college kids and they were like, we don't want to talk to humans. We just want to go in and, and get our stuff. <laughs> so it makes you, makes you rethink what, current generations in college is you literally yeah. they will never talk to you be in vr I, yeah. all the time wow i don't want to talk to these pesky humans that's gonna be funny all right anything else to add nope
All right, that's our e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you in the internet tomorrow. That's it for today. If you like the show, make sure you add us as a favorite and share this with your friends. Please follow us on social media, at Sumo Heavy. And finally, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion for the show, call us on Anchor. Until next time, we'll see you on the next e-commerce minute. podcast you just heard was recorded with anchor if you want to make your own download the android or ios app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast that's anchor.fm slash podcast